One of the darkest chapters of medical history was the Tuskegee Syphilis Study. Conducted between 1932 and 1972, the study involved withholding treatment from African American men suffering from syphilis all in the name of science. These men were never informed of their diagnoses and were denied treatment even after penicillin was developed and widely available. Are you ready to truly unlock your potential and supercharge your productivity? Join us on a brand new course we just released on learn.methodologies.org called Optimize Your Productivity, The Secret Ingredients, where we'll help you discover the keys to truly effective work. Throughout this course, you'll learn powerful strategies and skills that foster productivity. Explore our engaging video lessons on passion, metacognition, goal setting, and so much more. Let's redefine productivity, overcome challenges, and celebrate your journey to a more productive and fulfilling work-life journey. Sign up for our course today by clicking on the link below or visiting us at learn.methodologist.org and I'll see you there. The implications of the study was vast, and I'm not talking about the study of syphilis. It not only led to unnecessary suffering and death, but also sowed the deep seeds of mistrust among African American communities in the United States. And this sentiment still lingers today. But that's not the only reason why there is deep mistrust towards the medical community. Another grim episode from medical history was the forced sterilization of marginalized and vulnerable communities driven by the eugenics movement. The belief that grounded this movement was that certain groups, often poor, mentally ill, or racial minorities were unfit to reproduce. This led to thousands of mass forced sterilizations, robbing individuals of their reproductive rights and autonomy. Such practices were not just limited to one country or a region, they were widespread, highlighting deep-rooted prejudices in medical practice globally. But discrimination wasn't just limited to patients. That's an important point to understand. Even within medical professionals, racial and gender biases have been rampant. For decades in the 20th century, even medical schools denied admission based on race and gender. And even after gaining admission, minority students still face discrimination and prejudice, affecting both their training and future careers. And this discrimination in medical school extended into medical practice, with physicians from minority communities facing numerous challenges to establish their practices or gaining respect from both their peers, colleagues, and even patients they serve. Sometimes we forget this history, but this history is important to understand because we see the ripple effects of it today. These historical instances of discriminations are not just memories of the past. They have shaped the very fabric of modern healthcare. They serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of prejudice and the importance of ensuring that such events are never repeated again. But that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, subscribing. Until the next video, take care.